Hello, I'm Jack. Welcome to Practical Programming Channel. In this video series, you will learn everything you need to get started with WebGPU graphics programming. In the last two videos, we discussed the color map model and the 3D simple surface construction. In this video, I will explain how to use the color map model and the simple surface data function to create a 3D sync surface. Here is the definition of the sync function. It is equal to a sine r over r for the r not equal to 0, where r equal to square root x square plus z square. This is our definition. For r equal to 0, this function equals to 1. In fact, the sync function is a Fourier transform of the rectangular function. Here we will use the gate tool to clone the source code used in the last video. Here is the download link at the GitHub repository. From this link, you can download the source code used in the last video. Now open a command prompt window and run the following command git clone paste this link. This will generate a WebGPU24 folder on your local machine. This folder contains all the source code used in the last video. Now we want to change the name of the WebGPU24 folder to GPU25. Rename U25 and CD into it. At this point, we are going to start Visual Studio Code with the command code period. This is Visual Studio Code interface. Okay, we can close this welcome page. Now here contains all the source code used in the last video. Now open a new terminal window and run the command npm install to restore the npm package used in this project. OK, finished. Now all the installed packages are stored in the node modules folder. Now first we need to add the sync function to the mass.func.ts file. From src folder, open the mass.func.ts file. Here we need to add a new function called sync. This function looks very simple. You can see it takes x and z and a center as its input arguments. Here the center parameter lets you set the location for the sync surface. Inside this function, we define r equal to square root of x square plus z square. Here we set the v function equals to 1 for r equal to 0. Otherwise, it equals to sine r over r. This function returns VEC three points on the surface. Uh, now we can save this file and close it. Next, we need to make some changes to the index.html file from DRST folder. Open this file. First, we need to change the 22 to 25 because this is 25th uh, video. So we also need to change the H1 title here to sync surface. Here we also need to replace the input parameter with the new code. The parameter here with the new code. Here the first parameter is two-side light. This parameter controls whether we apply the lighting effect to one side or two sides of our surface. Here is a drop-down menu for the selection of the color map name. Here contains 11 color map names we defined in the color map data.ts file. Here is the scale and the scale y parameters that let you set the default size and aspect ratio for the sync surface. 
Now we can save this file. Next, we need to make some changes to the min.ts file. From SSC folder, open this min.ts file. Here we need to replace its content with the new code. Since most of the code for render pipeline and render paths have been already included in the surface.ts file, so here the main.ts file becomes very simple. Here we firstly introduce the light input interface from Cedars.ts file. Then we introduce simple surface data function from the surface data.ts file. Then we introduce the sync function from the mass.funk.ts file. Next, we introduce the create surface with a color map from the surface.ts file. Next, we create a new function called create surface. This function takes light input and other parameters as its input. Inside this function, we call the simple surface data. You can see this function takes a sync function as its input argument. From this function, we can obtain the vertex, normal, and the color map data. We then call the create surface with the color map. To create a sync surface with the lighting and the color map effects, here we define uh, some default input parameters, and then we call create a surface function to create a 3D sync function with the default lighting and color map effects. This part of the code allows the user to recreate the sync surface with different input parameters. Here, the code allows the user to select different color map from the drop-down menu to recreate the surface. Now we finish the modification to the main.ts file, so we can save this file. Up to now, we have finished the, the R programming. Now we can run the following command on the terminal window to bound our TypeScript code in production mode. npm run problem. Okay, the bound file is created successfully. Now we can click the go live link to open Chrome Canary to view our sync surface. Here is our sinker surface with the default two-side lighting and the jet color map displayed on this page. Now let's check what happens if we use the one-side lighting. Click camera control. From here you can see the back still have the same lighting effect and the color map you can see here. If we change it to one-side lighting, change this to zero and then click the redraw button, you can see this front side still have the same lighting effect. However, when you go to the back, you can see the back has no diffuse and specular light, only has a very weak ambient light. You can see this has become very dark on the back side. The front is still have good lighting, but the back has a very weak environment light. Now we get back to side lighting. But the scale here controls the default size. For example, when you change it to 1, you can get a smaller surface. Change back. This scale way lets you control the aspect ratio. For example, if you change it to 0, you can see you get a taller surface. If you change 0.5, you get a you know, shorter and fatter surface. If you change point three, you get a very good looking surface here. Click animation. Now we can change the color map. Here is default jet, but you can select other color map. For example, atom, bomb, Q, cool, cool, cooper, gray, Hot HSV Spring 
in the summer and the winter. You can see that in WebGPU, we can easily create beautiful 3D surface with lighting and color map effects. Now, we have completed this example. In next video, I will show you how to use the color map model and the simple surface data function to create a 3D simple surface plot based on peak mass function. Most examples presented in this video series are based on my recently published book, Practical WebGPU Graphics. From this link, drsu.net.com, you can see the details about this book. I have created a GitHub repository to host the source code used in this video series. From this link, you can download the source code used in this uh, video series. I also created a live demo at this link. This demo shows the live results by running the example projects presented in this video series. I will end this video here. See you next time. Bye.